Hi everyone! In this video, we will classify solutions to a quadratic equation. Use the discriminant to determine the number and type of solutions of the following quadratic equation. The discriminant is a formula of b squared minus 4ac. The a, b, and c come from the quadratic equation listed in standard form. That means that it's going in descending order of the x squared first, then the x, and then the no x term. And so the coefficient in front of the x squared is a, the coefficient in front of just the x is b, and the coefficient with no x is c. And we can plug that into our formula to find the discriminant. And the number that we get when we calculate it out tells us what type and number of solutions we will get for if we were to actually solve this uh, quadratic equation. If we calculate it out and the discriminant is a zero, this tells us that we will have a singular one rational solution. If we go through and we calculate it out and we get a positive perfect square, this tells us that we will have two rational solutions. If we go through and we get a positive, but it is not a perfect square, this tells us that we will have two irrational solutions. If we go through all the calculating and we get a negative number, and it doesn't matter if it's square or not a square, this will give us two complex solutions complex meaning that it will have an imaginary part. Let's go ahead and calculate ours. So we have b, b is 7, so we'll substitute that into our solution or our formula with parentheses every time we substitute. Minus 4 and we're substituting negative 3 in for a and then we have c which is negative 5. Uh, 7 squared is 49 a negative 4 times a negative 3 is a positive 12. And a positive 12 times a negative 5 gives us a negative 60. So we have 49 minus 60, which gives us negative 11. If we end up with a negative, this tells us that the solutions that we will get if we were to solve this quadratic equation would be two complex solutions meaning that it would have an imaginary number in there. And so our answer is two complex solutions, and we're all done.